What up farm? How you going? So we're out here at Onan today and uh, we're just about to head down the back. We've got to get some sheep in to take the rams out and then the clay spreaders are coming. in the yard. Come on fellas. Come on blokes. Well what we're doing is taking the rams out of the ewes. Um, so pretty much taking the fellas away from the ladies in a simple term. Um, you're probably wondering how we know that they've they've been in long enough. Well, to be honest, we don't really know that they've been in long enough, I guess you could say, but these four were all out by themselves, so they've kind of lost interest. So it's probably time to take them out. So we got those four in now, and we think that there should be 11 in this lot. So we gotta go and get the rest of the ewes and rams in somewhere out in this paddock and see if the rest of the rams are there. Those of you that don't know, a ram is a boy sheep and a ewe is a girl sheep. So the idea is that you put your rams in for a short amount of time with your ewes and then you take them out again and then all of your ewes are having lambs at the same time. So that, that makes you how you manage your sheep it makes it a lot easier. Got them all in. We've got them in the yards, now we've got to draft out the rams. So, we've got all the ewes in, and the rams, and it's happened that all of the rams have made it into this front pen, not in those back pens. So we only have to draft out this bit. Little, sit down, sit, sit. Good dog. We got all the fellas out. Now we gotta send the ladies back to their paddock. Actually, they're going to a fresh, brand new paddock for them. Yeah, 
yay. Now, I don't want to get too soppy with you, but I'm not very good at gifts and stuff like for Chels. Um, but I was out here and I thought, oh, all this dry stuff looks looks pretty cool. So I picked uh, all these dry flowers. It's like a bunch of dry flowers for her. So I hope she likes it. But look at all these little flowers. They feel so cool too. Oh, my favourite. Sheep are still going back to their paddock. There we go. Into their new paddock. It's a good looking one too, nice and green. We got the sheep to the paddock. Now we've got to move the trough from this paddock into the paddock that the sheep are in. All this old water is coming out so that we can move it and then put some fresh water in. We put the bung in so the water can't come out and it's in the new, new spot in its paddock, in the paddock it's supposed to be. And now it's filling with nice clean fresh water. So you're probably also wondering why we're doing sheep work and not harvesting. Well, that's because we had some rain today and it's too too wet for harvesting back at home, even though it hasn't rained here. So that's why we're not harvesting. And now we're heading back down the back here because the clay spreading contract has just arrived and we're gonna say hello to him and see him get started. All right, guys, we're back out at Onan again today. It's the next day. This morning we took all the rams out of the ewes back at home. And today we're back, oh the Salo, we're back out here to take the rams out of the rest of the ewes out here. So we've just finished with the first lot, we got the rams in, we got the ewes and rams in, took the rams off, and they're heading back to their paddock. Um, the next lot is in this paddock just here, so we'll go and get them in, and then take the rams off them. Another gate. I have this theory that sheep work is 10% working with sheep and 90% opening and closing gates. Got them in the yard. Should be all of them. Here's all the rams. There is ten there. And one died that we know of. So eleven. So we're still short one. Somewhere there's one. And we're short one from down the back. So we're short two. Two, there's somewhere there's two rams. Yeah, there's two out, out there, we think. But we don't know. 
This property is so big that you wouldn't know. There they go, in their new paddock. spreading contractor um, big thanks to James and Lewis from Howie's Earthworks um, they're out here spreading some clay for us so they dig the clay out of that hole or they got to rip it first that's the first pass you see then they pick it up with their scraper and then they drive out and spread it on the paddock then we come along after a while probably a couple of months and we'll mix it into the sand into the top layer of the sand and it actually makes the sand hold more moisture because the clay is in there to hold the moisture and it increases productivity a lot so that's what's happening there so she's a bit windy for the drone today otherwise I would have had it up to get some footage of that but anyway maybe next week or sometime we'll be able to get the drone up and have a look and do a full <coughs> vlog on clay spreading now we've got to get these rams into that trailer in you go fellas so we topped up the trailer with rams um, back at the shed there's Trevor there's the rams um, yeah then when we were on our way out the, out the track heading home we spotted another two rams out in another paddock so we went back and got them thankfully now we're only two short possibly have died but possibly still wandering around some, somewhere um, yeah well, farm, how you going? So we're back out here on the header. You can see us motoring along. And this morning, Dad finished off harvesting the wheat. And now we switch back to the barley. So we're flat out into the barley. There goes Gran. She's just been out for her annual header ride. It's quite nice to have her on the header. <laughs> so we're still harvesting along and tonight is the Border Town Community Christmas Carols at the Oval and unfortunately I'm missing out on it because I'm here because we have rain coming tomorrow and we want to get as much done as we can because we got hardly anything done last week because of the cold weather. But one great thing is my good friend Michael, shout out to Michael, he has actually live streamed it for me with his GoPro. There it is. Somewhere in that picture is Chelsea and Alex are sitting there singing some carols so yeah but I just wanted to say whenever this video comes out wherever you're listening from or whenever you're listening Merry Christmas to you Happy New Year enjoy the time with family let's send off this year 
It's been an interesting year, but let's hope 2021 is better. That'll do for this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below so you don't miss any other of our videos. Um, leave a comment if you want. Tell me what you like, what you didn't. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.